week, Seth. That grit this week came back. They worked all week. The guys wanted to get better leadership on this football team. I thought we played a complete game tonight. There were some mistakes, but our guys fought. We talked about finish. We finished the game. 500 yards of offense, you know, uh, 260 something yards of uh, Vanderbilt. I thought the defense did a great job coming up with some uh, big time plays in the game. It, it definitely helped to have uh, Derek Singer back. It made a difference. I uh, thought the kicking game was outstanding, field goals and punting. But we got to get better on kickoff coverage. Uh, nice punt return by Derek. Uh, but there's some things to get better at. Red zone, we uh, had to set up for field goals a couple of times. We missed a couple of plays. We dropped some balls. I thought John Emery ran the ball well. Good to see John, John Trey Kirkland getting involved. Overall, just a good win. Just a happy football team in this locker room. There. Hey, tell them Coach, we're getting a lot of background noise. Can you maybe just move the mic closer? That mic? Yeah, I just, I just sent somebody out there to tell them to be quiet just for you, Mike. All right, babe. Appreciate that, bud. Right. Um, so, so much improvement. Uh, what are you most proud of? Either the offensive line, the secondary. It's, yeah. It seems like everybody really. Yeah. To you know, I, I was most proud of you know Cam Wire started at left tackle. You know, John Emery, you know, John Trey Kirkland, and you guys, you know, in the offensive line block well. I thought Miles made some excellent plays. He missed some plays, but you know what? He, he did very well. Uh, defense, I thought, you know, Bo did a tremendous job of, of game planning these guys. Uh, we never panicked. Uh, we stuck with what we know. I thought we played solid football. There was a lot less mistakes in this football game than there were in the first. Ed, leading up into this game, you were talking about how you wanted the run game to be more involved. Uh, I mean, what can you say about John Emery's performance tonight? Yeah. And second question, I mean, what kind of led to his, uh, you know, start today? It was yeah. Curry not available, and maybe you could tell yeah. us a little bit about Yeah, him. you know, Curry was not available, and uh, him and Tyron were going to share the ref. Tyron started, but John got hot. Kevin kept him in. Josh, Josh came in at the end. But you know what? Uh, uh, We've been seeing this John Emery runs. We've been seeing it in practice, and, and he finally got a chance in the game. So, excellent job. And what I'm most proud of is him protecting the football. Hey, Coach. You know, obviously they jumped out on you guys early in that first half with the rushing attack. I mean, just what was the message at halftime? And you guys, you know, obviously were able to kind of improve there in that second half. Holding them you know, just, just, yeah, just stay in the gap. We had guys getting cut out of the gap, guys jumping inside. Do your, do your job. And we challenge our guys just to settle down and just do their job. Coach, hey, it's uh, Brett Bartel with AP. To what extent does this performance, especially in the context of last week, um, give you some peace of mind that you do, in fact, have more of the team you thought you had, um, as opposed to you know how it might have looked a week ago? Yeah, it's a step. Obviously, it's a step. You know, last week was you know we we were not pleased, obviously. And uh, that's not LSU Tiger football. Tonight was LSU football. We played like the LSU Tigers. But you know what? We practiced like it, and we coached it all sorts with me. And uh, it's going to continue on like that. Hey, uh, Coach, two questions. Uh, one, what do you think about Miles Brennan's movement and presence in the pocket today? And also, how do you think uh, Joshua became his favorite target? You know, kind of led to that. Have they been having some good chemistry in practice? Yeah, yeah. But what was your last statement? Who was his favorite target today? But what did you say, Jared? What was your last statement about? Oh, sorry, Coach. It was about uh, John Trey Kirkland. Oh, yeah. They have yeah, good okay, chemistry yeah. in practice. Yeah. No question. You know, John Trey has been a leader for us. You know, I, I was waiting for him to have his breakout game. A uh, guy that's worked very hard. I'm so so proud of John Trey. And John Trey, I, he was the team, one of the team captains this week. Had, had a great attitude all week. I thought Miles played very well. Yeah, obviously, that interception it was, was not a, a, a good decision. Uh, there was, you know, two or three times he could have made better decisions. But I tell you, what, he threw some good balls. That ball to Terrence down the middle. He came back after his interception. Good job of Steve calling the plays. Came back right after him, and Miles delivered. Okay, bro. Bro, I think you're on mute. mute. Brady, you should be unmuted. Is it not working? We'll, we'll skip Brady and we'll go to Doug Mouton. Hey, Ed, um, Allie Gay, second game in a row, so good. Yep. What are you seeing out of him? And is he a guy that's maybe elevated more than you thought yeah. when you went out to, to sign him in the first place? No question. I mean, he has developed. He's a hard worker. 
Uh, you see him get better every day, learning the defense. He's a force, man. He's 6'6", 250, and I, I'm, I'm sure Ali would run about a 4'6", 40. I mean, he's, he's a pro prospect. There's some things he made some mistakes on, but he's long and he's lean and he's tough, and he's a good young man. He's just, he's just getting started. Hey, Ed Wilson, Alexander from The Advocate. With Miles' development, I mean, how much did you expect to kind of maybe see such kind of a jump like that from week one to week two, and what do you sort of expect from him to continue to yeah. do? Forward? Yeah, well, he has to do it. And, and, and to play the LSU standard performance, and tonight, you know, he stepped up in the pocket. He didn't try to scramble to the right like he did his first game. He stepped up in the pocket. He was patient. I made some big time throws in the, in the pocket, but again, there's some, some, still some things that he's got to improve on. You know, the receivers dropped a lot of those passes, and those passes were on the money, so you got to put it on the receivers, got to catch the ball. But overall, I was very pleased with Miles. We'll try and go back to Brody. Brody. Yeah, still not Brody. We'll go to Ron Higgins to wrap it up. Yeah, Ed. Uh, your defense allowed like 63 yards a second half. When you talk about just the difference between the second half and the first half, the second, the second half, the, the difference was noticeable how they played. Yeah, you know, we, we told them we're gonna play for 60 minutes, and you know, Bo did a great job at halftime, made some adjustments. Uh, we didn't uh, bl have to blitz as much. Uh, we played a four-man line. Uh, we we played some cover one. We had more people in the box to stop the stop the run. Guys fitting their gaps. These coaches, I'm telling you, Bill Johnson and those guys were coaching their butt off in the, in the locker room. I'm so proud of our coaching staff. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. One more thing. Uh, the punt return game, probably the best it's been in a couple of years. Derek really kind of turned it loose tonight. Yeah. All we want to do is give Derek some space. And uh, Coach Mack, you know, he worked all summer on it. Uh, we changed some stuff on our punt return. And, you know, once you give Derek some space, just tell him to go to free grass. You can't tell him right or left. And, and the guy has instincts. And hopefully we can continue to improve on it. Coach, I got uh, Brody's question from him. He said, John Emery had to go through some growing pains his freshman year. What have you seen in his development since last fall? Mm -hmm. And just kind of as a tag along, you wanted more run game early. Yeah. You got it, and it seems to really balance out the offense. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's what we need to do. And and, and I said at the beginning of the year, uh, we got to take some pressure off of Miles. It's going to be a different offense. We want to be 50-50, but John has grown up. He's gotten bigger. I was I was teasing him today. He's, he actually got a big chest on him now. He didn't even have a chest when he got here. He's been working out with Tommy Moffitt. He's bigger and he's stronger. But overall, I'm so pleased with John handling the football and, and, and not giving that football up. That's the biggest improvement he's made. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys.